<laughs> hey, Aaron, how's, how's it going? It, how's it going, Mike? <laughs> so we, we've got a pile of fierceness here on the table. What do we got going on? Guys, this is Wolverine Slide. We are super proud of these. We put a ton of work into them. Uh, if you are considering putting a dot on your Glock 19 or soon 17, uh, we have a proposal for you. This is, I think, I think it's the way to go. I think it's the best way to go. Uh, there are two kinds of people that seem to be interested in aftermarket Glock slides. The first one is uh, the guy who has a, a, a base Glock um, and he's thinking about uh, getting the slide milled and he's not sure if he wants to permanently modify his firearm and not sure who he trusts to mill it out and not sure if it's all going to work out and and that's that's guy number one guy number two is a poly 80 type guy who's who's building his own gun from scratch he's you know putting in the work he understands all the various configurations and he's looking for um, a way to put together an uh, affordable but very modern configuration of a Glock. He's not really interested in starting with a factory gun and then throwing half of it away, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're one of those two guys, this video is for you because we have the slide. We have the aftermarket slide. Uh, and I think I think this is better. I think this is the best one that's out there right now. And that's a tall, it's a tall thing to boast about, but we put in the work. We really did. So benefits that come with Wolverine are... It's milled from a solid block of 416 stainless. Then it comes in the two different finishes. This here, you see the battle-worn Cerakote, which was really popular. Then we decided to go with something a little bit more aggressive in durability, right. but also a little bit more toned down in style. So what's the benefit with this one, Mike? Right, so this is graphite black nitride, and you guys can look up what nitride is if you don't already know, but nitride is a, a factory finish for a lot of you know the factory guns that, that you see out there. And uh, it's it, not as pretty, probably as the as the Cerakote. Uh, not as cool and different and custom looking, but it's very rust resistant, very corrosion resistant, and very scratch resistant. So yep. I think it's a little bit of a tougher finish. It's actually my favorite. I, I like the black one uh, myself. So you have two options there. Uh, like we said, Glock 19, soon Glock 17. And uh, you can see that the optics mounting footprint here is milled right into the slide no adapters yep. which adapter plate do i use which screws do i use forget it liberty or justice go right on the top of this thing no problems works every time no adapter plates to worry about and uh you want to talk about the iron sights the iron sights are a huge advantage on these yeah so we decided to go a couple different routes because different people have different tastes we paired with steel city arsenal for our fiber sights, and we paired with night vision for our tritium sights. I love night vision. <laughs> Those guys are awesome. They're so great to work with. Great yeah, guys. They, both of these companies have been a wonder to work with, and the reasons that we needed to work with some skilled makers of iron sights are we wanted to do something a lot of people haven't done in the past, which is what we refer to as our combat cut sight placement, where the rear sight is located in front of the optic itself. This gives a number of benefits, one of which is for one-handed manipulation. So you do have a giant steel tower protecting your optic on the front side. If you want to rack this thing off of wood, car doors, whatever, you now have a pillar protecting the front of your optic. There's another benefit that this offers that you've articulated really well, and a lot of people hadn't thought of until we started delving into why is it a great idea to put that rear sight yeah. in front of the optic? You don't you don't realize it until you start shooting. You know, it's one of those things where there's no substitute for live rounds downrange. Yep. Um, but my favorite thing about the combat cut irons is, guys, empty gun, is that <clears throat> I can put the wind the, the dot at the bottom of the window where it's obscured a little bit by this sort of lower one-third co-witness mm -hmm. co uh, iron sight, but I can still see the dot. The yeah. dot is still visible because the window is behind the iron sight, which means if I'm target-focused, for me, I like to shoot target-focused with dots, um, and I think it's the only way to go. Uh, I don't even notice that the sight is there. I just see the target, I see the dot, and I start making quality trigger presses. If I was the kind of guy to be bothered about, you know, okay, I, 
I can see my dot, but I can't see the target because the iron sight's in the way. At least I know where the dot is, and I can drive the dot up, and I can get that dot in the middle of the window and, and, and take the shot that I want instead of having the dot be completely lost because I have this giant lower third co-witness iron sight that's behind my window and obscuring that bottom, bottom third of the window. Um, it doesn't sound like that big of a difference. Who really cares? Man, when you are shooting fast and ugly in weird positions, Mm -hmm. and you're just trying to throw rounds down range as accurately as you can, it will come in handy. It does yeah. make a difference. No, definitely. One of the things that we tested was, is there a big difference in time? And we did find that being able to use the entirety of your window again and still see the dot no matter where it is in the window, it did give you more time back. More consistency. Yeah, because if you needed to steer it back onto the target, if you needed to make a correction, you see it the entire time. It's not hiding behind some pillar somewhere, and then you have to locate it before you can make a correction. So it did give you some speed of, if you see the dot, put it on the target, press the trigger, and you're good to go. Now, I'll give you guys a, t a tip. Now, when you're ordering these, you're going to have a lot of different options. We'll go through that in a second. But all of them will come with two fiber optics, a red and a green. Yep. And the way that we figured out, we like to run it is this one, for example, has a green dot liberator. And so we went with a red fiber optic front on it. So I never got confused about what my point of, my point of aim is. Yeah. I'm looking for a green dot and I find the green dot. I'm not confused about which is the dot and which is my, my iron sight because I know the iron sight is red. You know, if the, something happens and the green dot conks out, I forgot to change my battery or, you know, an impact blew it or whatever it is. You could simply what, be looking into an incredibly bright surface. Right. Something like that happens and I don't have the dot. Then I know I'm looking for red now. Where's my red? Okay, there it is. There's a red front sight and I still have that and I can still get off a quality shot. So I like to, I like to contrast my, my front sight needs to be the opposite of my dot color. Yep. And I think we found out that's, that's a pretty cool trick. You can do it however you want. If you want to order them both the same, we're not going to say no, but that's a trick that we figured out, uh, helped us out a little bit for sure. And the upside is since we're including both, try both, see which one you like. Right. It's pretty easy to install these yourself. They're, they're not that hard to do. No. So, and then for those who are, you know, really serious, you know, using this on a work gun, you know, uh, and, and they're going to carry this thing to defend their life or whatever. Hey, you might look into that uh, night vision tritium because that's, that's legit. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of folks have really gone to liking pairing tritium with their dot sight for the simple reason of you do get 12 plus years of light out of the tritium sights with the shake and wake feature of our liberty and justice when you leave it alone in a dark environment say you're sleeping this happens to be your nightstand gun right it's off so you're not going to be able to see anything having that little tritium vial there just giving that faint little glow of i'm here it gives you something to reference as soon as you pick it up liberty justice pops on gives you your aiming point but having just a little something there to mm. know exactly where your tool is, it can be a nice feature. Even in the dark, you have training wheels with this. Exactly. Like you can figure out a little bit of an alignment enough, even if it's dark, to where you can you can then find the dot and we can go to work. You got it. Yeah. So when you guys order your Wolverine slide from Swamp Fox Optics, you will have a bunch of options. You, you can choose the graphite black. You can choose the hand-distressed, battle-worn gray Cerakote. You can choose a Liberty or a Justice. You can decide whether you want to do the you know fiber optic sights or the tritium sights. You can choose whether you want to add a iron side shield, the stainless steel cage that you see on this one. Those are all options that you can choose uh, on how you want to roll, which which options you want to go with. And so it's really kind of a factory custom, a true custom setup. And yours is going to be, you know, you're going to be the only kid on the block that has one like the one that you ordered. Um, but I want to reiterate that you can't get it wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, these iron sights are made just for these slides. We did our own math. We did our own live fire testing. And these are not just iron sights that we ordered out of the catalog and they already had them. We had to do the math on these. They're made specifically for this slide. And this combination uh, is a fantastic real-world combination. It's fast. It's consistent. Um, it looks great. It runs reliably. And we're just so incredibly proud of it. And you guys are going to love them. I can't wait to see more and more, more and more of these Wolverines out there at the range. Yeah, it's going to be we've, fantastic. We've had some rave reviews come back from people that have enjoyed shooting with these. It's a great option to get into the dot shooting world without taking the extra time added money to send your existing slide off or 
just roll the dice on, okay, I think I like the look of that one. Let's see how it works. Oh, it doesn't fit whatever. This is why we came up with our own line of this. Yeah. Everything has been tested. Every combination we could think of has been live fire tested, confirmed that they hit where you want it to. It's as tough as we wanted them to be. Yeah. yeah. Guys, don't ask on Facebook which one which slide should I get or go on the forums? And has anybody sent their slide off to this company to get it milled? You don't have to beg on forums for three weeks. You don't have to do three weeks worth of Google searching and looking at reviews and, and looking through, trying to figure out which YouTube influencer is selling the truth about which slide. Forget it. Buy a Wolverine slide. You're not going to be sorry. Yep. They are really Agreed. fantastic in the real world. Yeah. These are tough, hard-use tools. Go get them. Enjoy.